Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. We're gonna dive into another palette and see what I got. You know me, I love my palettes. So we're gonna see what's in here, but first I wanna give you the details of why I even bought this palette. So this was one of the palettes that I got when I went on my uh, bulk.com warehouse tour. They currently don't let uh, customers pick up, but I'm the guinea pig, so hopefully that's something in the near future. So this is a bulk.com palette of uninspected returns, which is exactly what it sounds like, not inspected at all. And if you watch my um, warehouse tour, I've got details on how they make it uninspected. Retail is $1,871 on this one. It's a home goods, men's shoes, commercial equipment. I saw the name DeWalt in the manifest, so I'm really hoping that I find some good stuff when it comes to tools. 22 items in this palette, which is not very many for a huge palette. My cost was $171 plus $76 for me to go pick it up, and that includes the, the truck that I used to pick it up and the gas and all of that. For a total of $247, $11.22 per item is what that averages out to be. If you would have bought this pellet, it would have been $171, just like I paid $200 to ship it right to your front door, $371 total for a total of $16.86 per item. So let's see if we can get in the $16 to $11 range per item and see what's in here. So we're gonna break into it. And just dive right in, see what those 22 items are. Hopefully they're in brand new condition so I can just easily Amazon them. If not, they'll be on my hooked on picking, um, dot com Shopify store and you can purchase a lot of these things there. Whatever I can't send into Amazon, I almost always put on my hooked on picking dot com store. So let's see if we can get this open. I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot of large things, especially because there's 22 items in this giant box. All right, so let's get this opened up. There's always one side of the palette that's set a little lower so I can reach in. So I've got that part facing me. I see a lot of large boxes already. So let's just see what we got going on. So initially that's what we see when we open it up. Um, so it's been packed pretty much to the roof. Uh, I'm just gonna start with this large box here. It's not very heavy. And we're just going to open it up and see what's in it. There's no markings on it. Now, whenever you get the manifest, if you look at this LP uh, number, you can actually look up what that actually is on the manifest um, to match it with the specific items. So let's get this open and see what's in here. A lot of times they'll rebox re -box stuff that came without its original box. Oh, I've gotten one of these before. Uh, it's basically a dog dish. Um, it has extendable legs and stuff, so you can make it taller or shorter. It's like, it's got a little dog bone thing you stick on the front like that. But it looks like it's in brand new condition. Um, I'm not sure how this goes in there, if it just slides in the side or how, but hopefully, and it comes with the manual. Barking Bistro Adjustable Dog Feeder. So if you have a tall dog, short dog, all that stuff, that's what it's for. So that's in good condition. It definitely looks like something I can Amazon. I'm gonna definitely look up the Amazon um, listing of it originally and find out if that is something, um, if it's missing any pieces and it has everything it needs. All right, so let's look in here. This is a Remington <sighs> leaf blower. So damage here to the box. So that's definitely not something I can send into Amazon, um, but everything else looks perfectly sealed. I think it's a shelf pull because of the damage to the box because the box has been crushed. And so this might be a bonus you guys get to have on my website because uh, that's the only thing that's wrong with it. It's never even been opened. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with the actual unit, just the box damage. So that's good. All right, Bluetooth CD radio home music system made in China. It's been opened before, so I'm gonna go ahead and break the seal and open it myself since I see that it's been retaped. Let's see what's in here. I'm going to uh, um, also do a second video where I look up some of these items since there's only 22 in here and see where is the profit margin. I guess they got a little crazy with the tape. Good night. Um, 
two years later when I'm actually in this box. <laughs> All right, there we go. It's basically a boom box. It's got a CD player, um, stereo system, two speakers that are detachable, but it looks like you wire them in to the original thing. So yeah, it's basically it exactly what it says in there so that will be something i will test for sure make sure it's in good working condition and then i'll probably if i can sell it on amazon as in uh like new condition or you uh like used very good condition all right let's see what's in this other box it's another lightweight one i wonder if it's another dog tray because it feels about the same weight i'm looking for home goods men's shoes commercial equipment well, it's obviously not a pair of men's shoes. Big shoes. Yeah, those would be some big shoes. All right, what is this? A pillow. Two pillows. A set of pillows. Sleepy. So when I'm done with this palette, I can take a nap. So we'll look those up and see if they're on there. Because they have barcodes on them. So those look like they're in brand new condition. They were probably just reboxed simply because they came, their shelf pulls probably and came right from the store just like that. All right, x-ray shoes. I have done well with x-ray shoes. So the box is definitely beat up, but you know, that happens when you're, when it's in the store. We'll see what these look like. I sold a pair that were like green like this. So they look in really great condition. Let's look at the bottoms. Yeah. There's, they've never been worn. Let's check. There's the bottom of that one. And these have never been worn as well. So those are nice shoes. What's the size? Those are size 13s, which sell really well. And I've got a couple of my YouTube viewers. So if you need a size 13 men's shoes, check them out. They'll be probably on my Poshmark store uh, unless I can put them on Amazon. So 13s uh, usually sell really well for me because those are really hard to find. So check those out okay this is really heavy <laughs> oh okay this is i'm looking to see if there's a title on there anywhere dewalt mechanic tool set so the box has been boogered up but the i don't know if this has been opened or not but i think because the box has been boogered up i'm going to open this part of the box it looks like the manufacturer's box is still inside but I'm going to open this box just simply because I need to know if, um, because of this damage, is there damage to the actual item inside? So, yeah, it's a big case. It doesn't look like there's damage to the actual item. No, it's just dented in where the box got boogered up. So this item is actually in pristine condition. It's never been opened. Flip it around. Um, oh, yeah. You want to see all the tools in it? Ooh. There you go. 168 pieces. Let me lean it so you can get a good look at it. 168 pieces. Never been opened. That thing weighs a beast, but I bet it sells for bonkers money. So if you watch my second video, I'll go ahead and tell you exactly how much I can sell that for on Amazon after fees and all of that, even with how much it weighs to send it in. All right. Let's see. This looks like it's been reboxed um, simply because I can see the little padding pillows in there. I'm going to come over here with this. So I'm not sure exactly what that is. Uh, let me look at the little tag on the front. A lot of times I get a sneak peek. It says a karaoke machine. So this is something that's been reboxed. But maybe this is the original box. Look at that. So it looks new. Just retape back together. So it might just be a return, customer return. And there's the whole thing. So it looks like everything is there. It does look like it, it used to be wrapped in this. So um, I'm going to definitely put this all back in there. And then we'll test it to make sure since it does look like it's been opened. Um, but it's been returned for whatever reason. So that's there. All right. So karaoke machine, that might be some good money. Uh, here is a bathtub stool. 
Uh, looks like the only reason this has been returned, probably the box is smushed a little bit on the side, but I don't see any issues with that. Um, so that'll be something I can sell used like new. Um, I'll open it up and make sure all the pieces are there. You know, it's not missing any screws or bars or anything like that to assemble it. This is a giant Melissa and Doug um, loom. So it's been opened on the bottom. It, well, this box has just been crushed is all. So I will have to definitely open this up. It's been, okay. Sorry, I'm flipping this box around a lot, sorry. If you come real close right here, you can see that somebody just used regular scotch tape to put it back together. So my guess would be that this was purchased in store. Um, somebody didn't want it, they opened it and didn't want it and returned it. Um, I'm hoping all the contents are still there and that it's just a plain old customer return and nothing is wrong with it. I mean, you know when you go to Walmart, they ask, is there anything wrong with it? And you can say it was damaged or I didn't want it or wrong size or whatever, whatever it may be the situation. And so that's how they, I think, put together their manifest based off of what store they get it from. So here is uh, Intex Air Mattress. Those sell for a lot, especially the queen size ones. Um, those will sell for probably anywhere from 50 to 60 bucks. And so I'll probably, it's been retaped. So I'll probably open it up and make sure there's no slices or anything and that it holds air. Okay, this one I can clearly tell you. Oh, we have sold, we actually just shipped one of these into Amazon. Um, this one, I can tell you the reason why it's in this box is because there's damage. Um, I'm actually holding it through the hole in the box. So there's a damage right there, but it doesn't look like this has ever been opened. Um, and so this might be, uh, I'll probably sell it used like new on Amazon because it's still in the original packaging, but I'm going to sell it used like new simply because the packaging has been damaged. And when people buy new stuff from Amazon, they expect it to look pristine but um yeah if you want to get a good look at that hole but um this is a brand new item it's never even been opened you can tell the factory tape is still the same um it's just got a big hole in the box uh and that's the only reason probably that it got sent to liquidation all right this is a seville's 10 drawer organizer cart um, let me set it up here and there's a picture here just like this a lot of offices use them and they're usually like color coded for the different kinds of paper um, but it's a whole cart and that one doesn't look like it's been opened either or maybe it's been opened and resealed but I don't see anything wrong with that one so that's a possibility these are going to be a booger to send in to Amazon I just know but if it's worth it like sometimes those carts will sell for a lot of money and so Mystery box. All right, we're going to wait till the end and we'll open this one at the end. Tell me what you think's in there, okay? I love doing that because I love to see what you guys think is in those boxes. All righty. Okay, I need to cut the box lower. So I'm in the hunt for my... See, you can go ahead and take a look at what is left in the box. Not much. So if you see anything you guys like, go ahead and um, check it out. Check out my hookedonpickin.com website. Most likely a lot of the things that I cannot send in to Amazon, I always price at a ridiculously lower price there simply because I don't have to pay the amount of fees I do in Amazon um, on my own store. And so like if something is 40 bucks on Amazon, I'll list it for about, you know, 20 on my own store because I don't have to pay the fees. All right. Now that I've got my landing strip here, we can reach everything. All right, here's a pair of shoes. Gino Vitali is what's on the box, but let's see if that's actually what's in the box. Yes, very nice Gino Vitali dress shoes uh, with an arch support and padding. These are size 13, so it must be the size 13 box. So I have had people look at the bottoms of these. I'm gonna have you zoom in and kind of take a look at those fancy looking bottoms on that shoe. Oh, 
All right, here is a, another shelf, it looks like, with a drawer. It's kind of like an end table shelf with drawer. Um, I'll have to make sure all the contents are present for that one. But I'm going to lean it here because it's very heavy and I don't want it to tip over. Pardon me. There we go. All right, here's another foldable storage shelf. I don't know what this one looks like. I'll have to kind of look it up on line. Elcove is a Target brand, I believe. And um, a lot of times the Elcove brand is not on the Amazon marketplace. So I'll have to look that up and see if I can find it on the Target website just to see if I know what it looks like. Um, let's see. Farm rocking chair. This is really cute. I'm going to bring that over here so you can look real close. But um, that looks like a shelf pull. Like um, it had been bought, maybe returned, but very, very cute. I'm excited to look that one up to see how much it's gonna cost. All right, this one is, I don't know. We're gonna open this one and see what it looks like. Let me move these shoes so I don't ruin them. So these are probably gonna be on my Poshmark store. So if you wear size 13, check out my Poshmark store. All right, what's in this box? Oh, bedding, it looks like. Or curtains or something? No, bedding. Madison Park comes with a pillow. It is a duvet cover set uh, for a full or a queen. I guess it goes this way. Duvet cover set for a full or a queen. Looks like it's just plain white. And it comes with a little throw pillow. So that looks brand new. Like it's never been opened. All right. Pizza maker. It's a pizza maker machine. Betty Crocker Pizza Maker. Um, I'm just gonna take a peek. This is already open. I'm gonna take a peek at what kind of condition we got. Yeah, it looks like it's still brand new. You even have the foam still between the little things. So my guess is this is a Christmas present and somebody's like, I'll never use that. And then they returned it. <laughs> so that would be my guess of what exactly that is. All right, only a few more, four more things. KitchenAid bowl. Uh, I love my KitchenAid. It's glorious. Looks like this. Now my KitchenAid has a little attachment on the bottom the way it attaches. So this one is a little bit different. It's a wide bowl design. Bracket fits over bowl lift pins. So it's got a little bracket here. Um, it's a five quart bowl. So I must not have the KitchenAid that this one works with. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I think I just have a different KitchenAid, but it's brand new. Just the box is a little bit dented is all. So we're going to see how much that is worth. Um, probably sell it in like new condition on Amazon and you get a super good deal. All right, let's do, this is really heavy. It says fragile. Okay. Looks like it's been opened here. So we're gonna see what's in here. This is like the box of opening boxes. It's like quadruple unboxing. All right, what in the world? Pump control box. Did I break something? No, I didn't. Sentry Pro pump control box for something. Some sort of an electrical box. Oh, huh. that's kind of, all right. So this is my like odd buy. That's, I have no idea. Um, it's my weird thing. I'll, hopefully I'll be able to find it because it's got a lot of model numbers and stuff on it. And I have a feeling it might be worth a lot, but that's kind of my oddball item in this palette. So who knew? All right, so let's do, while I trip on my microphone cable, since you guys can hear me, all right. Let's do, oh, I thought this was more than one thing. It's not, it's, it's a weed eater. 
perfect time of the year right now to sell it. It's April. Spring has sprung. It's super nice outside. This is a 25cc two cycle straight shaft trimmer. So basically a Remington weed eater. So I'm hoping that this is, there's really nothing wrong with this one. Just a little bit of boogered up on the box. So I'll probably, if I can sell this on Amazon, I'll sell it like new condition on Amazon. Um, and it'll be a good thing. So watch my second video. I'm going to break down kind of how much I think I can make on the entire uh, palette. But that's a uh, huge items in this palette. But I think the retail is going to be there on my bulk.com palette of uninspected returns, home goods, men's shoes, commercial equipment, 22 items. Now you can see why there was only 22. A lot of them are large. And I paid $247. And if you would have bought it, it would have been $371. So hopefully it's been helpful to see what's in this uninspected returns palette. And remember in the end, Jesus wins. And you thought I forgot the mystery box. I didn't. Let's open it up. All right, let's see what's in it. It is air sealers. What in the world is this? Something in a bag. It's like the never ending mystery. Oh, I think I know what this is. Okay, so I've gotten these before in other palettes and I've sold them really well. They're watch cases. I think this is the same thing. Yes, so you put a bunch of watches in here. It's like a watch display case, a really fancy one. So for all of you rich people out there that have multiple watches or to someone who likes to collect watches for fun fashion, there's a watch case for you. So it comes in its own bag and totally wrapped. So that is what was in the mystery case because that's exactly what you expected to be in a palette with a bunch of tools and lawn equipment. <laughs> Remember again, Jesus wins. You guys are true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.